everyone. Hope everyone's doing great out there. Uh, this is Angie coming at you from my kitchen for an installment of Teen Art Club. And what we'll be making today is pressed botanical art, which you can see this one I already pre-made. I used some scrapbook paper for the backing on this one. Um, and I clearly did not stay in the lines very well. So if you have a matted frame like this one, I would really suggest mapping out that where that matting is so you can do better than me. Do better than me. I know you can. Ah. So what you'll need for this project is a frame that's empty, or you can just like you know steal one off the banister and repurpose it, and some flowers or other plants that you have collected and dried and or pressed. I pressed these in a notebook. I collected them on a walk that I went on, and just a walk down the main street all the pretty green growing things and then I pressed them in a notebook with some weight on top of them for about a week and then they were ready and because I'm feeling a little bit lazy or perhaps a little genius I've just used the, uh, the insert that came with this frame to, uh, to back this particular one which I'm feeling particularly proud of because Cutting this one out didn't go so great because cutting in a straight line happens to be a weakness of mine. And then I have here a calligraphy pen, so I'm just going to add to it. I'm just going to put the date on here. You can add to it too, nothing. No rules. You can make it as personal as you want to. And then I just use a little bit of glue to attempt to secure them to where I want them um, for the process where I flip it into the frame. So it will hopefully stay where it's been put. Uh, there was nothing, that's what I got. Let's see if it, let's see if it stays. It's already moving. It's okay. It's expressing itself. the frame and let's see what it did with itself. Not too terrible, moving it around. Uh, if I knew what all of these were, I would really like to take my calligraphy pen and go in and label them like those old school botanical illustrations you see. So that might be a good note for you when you collect things to find out what they are so you can put in the labels. But in the meantime, I got two of them made. So this is going to decorate my new office. So yeah, show us pictures of what you guys make. And don't forget to sign up for summer reading if you haven't already. You can do that at tscpl.org slash summer. And I hope you guys are all having a great start to summer. We hope to see you soon.